Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to you. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'kadash. The bottom to the apostle, and there was a great millstone piece. How you taste to your brother doing work to say the truth. You know, so we, 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 you know, you know, the times are kind of, uh, you know, the days, of, you know, the times that we're in are different. You know, the, the days, the time, and, and the world is, you know, against, you know, the men of the Lord. Because basically, the spiritual demon Satan, it's like a roaring lion, man. You know, he jumping on niggas. You know, the spirit is on, 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 on. on or men, even the, even even you get the spirit on yourself. Well, you know it, it, it gets hard for you when you work trying to work this. When you're working in the truth, you know things. You know you see the world as the, as as you try to go through the world, you navigate fucking lust demons. Everything is about you, but still you still got to endure hardness. You gotta you gotta fight, man. You gotta fight for this thing, man. It's it's it, nobody never said it was a, it was easy, you know. If, even if it was a, a job, you gotta fight, man. You gotta fight through that. You gotta fight through the hell that you that you're gonna endure. You know, the, the the world is not gonna give you shit. You know, our Lord and Savior had to endure niggas. That was hard to know what they were thinking, to know what what they were uh, attempting to do, what they they wanted to do. You know, and, and and it's just not gonna stop until Yahweh Shai come. He had to endure. So what what make us more special than Yahweh Shai, the Lord, our Lord and Savior, man? You know, he had to endure. We gonna have to endure. You gonna have to get that 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 that, that bulletproof suit type thing and deflect some of the this, this wild to the devil. You know, because there ain't no way we're gonna not go through emotions in this world. We're not going to be able to, um, you know, have everything we want. No, we're not going to uh, be able. Because you think about it, you and the truth for $10 million, man. Hey, you're going to have to have a special spirit to stay, to try to stay in this work, man. That's why you, that's why you don't see brothers in this work getting that money. Lord, what do we will if you do have $10 million you're doing this work, you know? But, you know, I, I'm going to just say it's kind of rare. I ain't, I ain't, I'm just saying it can't be done. I'm just saying it's kind of rare. Because think about it, I was shy. I had to, he he had all spiritual power. He had spiritual power at that moment. He could did anything, you know. And he he could have just be killed niggas, you know, vaporized them. That's hard when you know <laughs> you, you when you know that you can do something with somebody. And, with somebody else. With somebody else. Right. He could have. He, he probably knew all type of marsh and through the spirit. He knew all type of arcs. You know what I mean? Because he was a spiritual. He knew these things. You know. Favorite quote yeah, was, uh, they not I can uh, send down a legion of angels. Hey, hey, if he can do that, he can do anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? One legion wow. can destroy the earth. So you I'm start from, if you heard that, yeah, he, if he can send down, don't you know he could do that? He can do anything. Yeah, the priest, huh? Put the Put the nigga in the press real quick. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not, the pain you might feel is more ex extreme than what you might feel. Cause he, you know, uh, men no pressure point. Mm -hmm. Pop, you know. Man. Shit, he didn't even have to hit them. He didn't even have to physically hit them. Well, uh, it was during, uh, when the troops came after Yahweh Shai, and they was trying to take all of them rather than just Yahweh Shai only, he stood up and a force field pushed them down and said they fell over. Yeah, right. He was so, so. Yeah. What did he say? I'm he and he. <laughs> yeah, and, they, uh, and they said they all fell yeah. back. <laughs> he <speaking>. dropped. <laughs> he dropped. Right. Put We, we, we put, a, uh, put the uh, air back on the. Uh, a satyrian? Yeah. Come on, oh, everybody. Yeah. yeah. He could have killed. He could have did anything. He, he could have just killed every single one of them Romans. But basically, we got to endure. He had to endure. He had to go through it. God. You know. So yes. you got to man. You got to suit up. Hey, you gonna have to fight this devil, man. And, and, it's, and it's, these deep. Hey, hey, it's even one day. I, I'm looking at my phone this week. And all of a sudden, my phone just closed on the door. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And this shit said, uh, all of it, then it opened up YouTube again. It, I was looking at something else. It closed, opened up YouTube by itself, and then put 999. 
<laughs> so that was 666. You know what I mean? Shit like that. It's demons. I, you know? They did it all themselves. So, you know, go ahead. I, this is Hebrews 2 and 10. For it became him for whom all things, and by whom are all things, speaking of Yahweh Shai, and being and bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of our salvation perfect through suffering. So, so Yahweh Shai is made perfect through the sufferings he went through. Same thing as us. We have to go through sufferings to be made perfect in the likeness of Yahweh Shai. Like it says uh, in, in Hebrews, in Hebrews, uh, I'll just get it real quick. It's Hebrews 12 and verse, I think verse 2. Looking unto Yahushua, the author and finisher of our salvation, who for the who for the joy that that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and 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 it and it sat down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh, and it said despising, despising the shame. So even Yahushua, he didn't want to go through all that. He said he it, he despised it. He prayed to the heavenly Father three times for him not to go through it. But at the end of the day, what? He got on the cross, he finished it, and now he's set at the right-hand side of the Most High. So now we have to just finish our course through believing in Yahweh Shai, suffering the things we must go through, and uh, just enduring as a good soldier, as, as, as Yahweh Shai would want us to. Because Yahweh Shai endured as a, as a good soldier, man. A soldier isn't always about being a mighty man, chopping everybody's head off, and and running through the battlefield. A soldier is somebody who can keep their mental fortitude through through all types of situations, man. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shah came as a spiritual warrior at that point in time, man. And he and he and he fulfilled that, that course. And now when he returns this time, he's gonna fulfill the course of being a mighty lion and destroying everybody. Yeah. yeah, discipline and patience is actually very important aspects of being a soldier. Yep. It's, it's along with uh, endurance, being able to endure, and also another thing that makes a good soldier is to be able to improvise when new things. I'm so, like, I remember uh, dudes I've talked to that were in Vietnam War, and this is when I was in the war, because I was already interested in like, how did y'all go in the war? And he said, basically, as much basic training you thought you learned, forget that, throw that shit out the window. Because ain't nothing can compare you to seeing a fucking tiger jump out of nowhere or some motherfucker with an AK-47 shoot your partner next to you. You know, so part of being a soldier is you got to be able to improvise. When shit happens, you know, you got to be able to literally roll with the punches. You got to be able to, uh, you know, because... Hardness comes in different ways, you know, and you got to be able to endure that. Hardness can come in emotion, emotional, you know, your woman leaving you. Imagine you at war and your woman leaves you. How important do you think you're going to be concerned about that? You know, uh, uh, a sword just enduring hardness, that's the least of its concern. Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> not be too much. <laughs> exactly. You're not going to be concerned about that. So hardness can come in emotional. Hardness can come in, you know, you losing your comrade. You know, you know, we uh lost a brother that you know in Chicago camp, you know, and through the spirit, you know, he's with us still, but you know, the, the work keeps, you know, continue going, you know, and that's part of during the hardness is you can't you sometimes even grieve, you know, the way you want to grieve because it's still work that you have to be able to do. You know, we was like we were able to stop our whole uh Detroit, GMS Detroit and be able to tend, you know, the ox you know, uh, uh, services and funerals, you know, we have to, that's part of the hardest that we had to endure, you know, our last memories of him, you know, have to be just that. You won't, you're not going to be able to, you know, uh, on the run, you know, uh, and do things as you want to. You know, you might, in war, you might run out of bullets. You might have to learn how to fight on the, on the, on the spot. All right. Go ahead. This is, uh, this is John 17. This uh, kind of follows after what the brother you called just said. This is uh, John 17 and 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. 
I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, <laughs> yep. but that thou should keep them from evil. He didn't even want us to. He didn't want us to even. He wanted. To, he wants us to suffer down here. Mm -hmm. Shah doesn't pray to Father that he take us out of here. He wants us to be able to endure as good soldiers, uh, as he endured as a good soldier. Because that's he knows that's the only way we're going to be made perfect is going through the suffering as he did. Mm -hmm. You got another one. Now you, you basically hit it on a nutshell because, uh, like like the brother just said, you know we're here for a good reason. We're here because we're uh, this is the time where the Most High is going to perfect His chosen men. You know, Israel has been through their ups and downs, and this time the Most High is getting ready to perfect those that He has chosen. And Yahweh Shai is, is has uh, has control of uh, and has dominion over these men. You know, Lord's will we be those men. We we are going to endure all of the. The hell and tribulation that we're going through, and plus the things that we are getting ready to, uh, and prepared to, to to go through in the times to come soon. You know, Lord's will we endure until the end. We will be will be made perfect in Mashiach. You know, we'll be made perfect in Yahweh. You know, that was pretty much it. Um, Tom, does somebody got another screw? Tom, uh, Jeremiah one. And verse 17, uh, verse 17, uh, this was the most high speaking in Jeremiah. It says, uh, Thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city and an iron pillar and brass and walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the priests thereof, against the priests thereof. Oh, sorry, I'm going to say against the princes thereof, uh, and against the people of the land. So basically, uh, the Most High, you, he, he will turn you into what he has to. All right, this, the script says endure hardness uh, as a good soldier. The elect don't have a choice, like he told Jeremiah. There was a point where Jeremiah said he didn't want to do it, but he didn't have a choice anymore. The word was, what he said, it burned in his bones like fire. All right, the Most High said, I will make you a defense city against all of them. He'll turn you into a one at army, in which when you look into the word soldier, the first three letters, soul, having to do with being alone. All right, that's where you get other words like solidarity, solid, solitude, meaning to be alone, which is something that a soldier has uh, has to be good at because every brother is walking their own walk. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, if you're in dirt, you'll be set up as a defense city, being able to stand against against what? Uh, verse 19 and they shall and they shall fight against thee but they shall not prevail against thee for I am with thee saith the how about you I'll shy to deliver thee so also if you do like what it says in Sirach chapter 2 if you seek unto the Lord unto death he shall fight for thee right that's All right. that's another reason it's a lot that's another reason why I said uh, that uh, that the angels are a camp of around them that fear the Lord no that's that's it whoever got it so this is Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 19 wisdom strengthen the wise more than 10 mighty men which are in the city and also uh, Isaiah 33 and 3 it says a wisdom analysis there will be its ability at that time 33 and 6 and I'll read uh, this again Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 19 wisdom strengthen the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. And when you learn wisdom, because literally there's no other book that literally tells you what's going to happen in the future. You just don't know the moment, the minute, the hour, the second, the millisecond when everything's going to happen. But nonetheless, we all understand that these prophecies, none of them shall fail. None of shall one is made. All the things that's written about in these scriptures is going to come true. It's going to come to pass. And so when you strengthen yourself in these scriptures, you, there's 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 nothing that that Satan can do when you actually pull on, on you know your real strength you know because bodily exercise profit you know very little but spiritual exercise you know when you strength up there's there's literally nothing that Satan can do the more you strengthen the more the, in fact the the more you strengthen yourself the harder he comes which becomes more even evident. You know, if you actually in the spirit, you operating in the spirit, you can see, okay, you know, 
damn, all of a sudden now, you know, everybody out the blue keeps, you know, calling me, asking me to go to parties every time I want to do a video or something like that. You know, you see, like, damn, that's fucking Satan. Uh, can, uh, can, I, can I grab something real quick? Mm -hmm. I'll pretty much be done. This, uh, he, he just sits and, uh, and Tim. Uh, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And the power of the Most High's might is the scriptures. That's what we have to be strong in. Because we, we can't physically do anything against anybody. Physically, we can't hurt anyone. We can whoop somebody's ass, but they call the police on us. And the police can whoop our ass, then they're killers. So... It's all about being strong in the power of the Most High's might, which is the, which is His word, man. Huh? That's why the scriptures say it's strong as a two-edged sword, piercing even the the dividing of soul and and uh, soul and spirit. And spirit huh? Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Right, you gotta just you gotta just uh, detach yourself from you uh, know from from the, this world and you got to detach yourself from being um, impulsive. You got to detach yourself from a lot of, you got to detach, detach yourself from even, everything. from everything actually. You know, you got to, because the, the, the wilds of the, you know, we got to avoid the wilds of the, you know, the devil. You know what I mean? And that's Satan and that's the, that's, that's the, the, the that's the, what this, that's what Satan do. That's so-called white man. You know, all the things that niggas run into. You know, the stuff they run into, the stuff they see, the stuff they have, uh, 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 they have uh, to do. The so-called white man is, is really uh, uh, the, the, the influence. The so-called white man is really the influence of the whole. Is, So-called white man is really the whole influence of the whole matter, man. You know, he did that, 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 that devil man is, is uh, the reason that a lot of things, uh, our, our people are, are in the um, in the predicament that they're in. So like y'all, yeah, just pause it. Just pause it. Just pause it. Yeah, you should just pause it. It's not letting me. Sorry. Okay. Oh, well. Uh, verse 12. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities and against the, uh, powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Um, because we got to avoid this devil, man. So read it from the top again. It's like you right. Okay. Uh, finally, my brethren, be, uh, well, uh, yeah, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of Yahweh that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So you gotta you gotta withstand this devil, man. We gotta put on the whole armor. Suit up, man. You know, even though you're gonna you're gonna feel emotional, you're gonna have to go through all type of feelings and you know, you don't you don't wanna go through those things. Hey, it's only sharpening you up, it's only getting you tired, it's only getting you built up, it's only getting your 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 spirit used to the certain things that that's gonna happen, man. You hey, you you fall on the ground and hurt yourself. Hey, next time it ain't that gonna be that bad. Cause when you first start doing it as a kid, it it hurt tremendously. Right. Hit your head. Yeah, you gonna cry. You might cry each time. But shit, as you get older, you stop. Remember, as you got older, you stop crying about the shit that when you fell down or something of that nature. Yeah. You're building an immunity. Right. To the things. That Right here, even the so-called white man, we're building an immunity against this damn devil, man. When we over here, we're we're, uh, we're, we're dealing with the uh, the word, and we know that's the immunity. Knowing through these scriptures, we build the immunity. You know, constantly know what we see and what we hear in the, in, in this world that the that the so-called white man is gonna move on. We know. Come on, devil. You know, we know that he's gonna do. We and at that time, we might be like, damn. You know, and then we might be surprised, might marvel at this thing that's going to happen. But still, the Hav Hashim has has put the spirit in a certain man to endure this thing, man. And that to endure is you're going to have to endure hardness, man. You're going to have to be afflicted a lot of times. People see you. Yeah, that's part, that's part of this thing. The world, 
is going to see your endurance, what you would enduring in his work and his will and his will. What, what's, what's going to get you is going to get you the kingdom, man. Enduring to the end. You know? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We not it's, it's not really a it's not we're not wrestling against uh these niggas, man. Really, we're not wrestling against the uh, against the, 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 the against the Americans or the ITR. We hey look. We we we're wrestling against not physically, but because it's a spiritual thing, you know, we we have to uh, measure up and, and have to defend the, the gospel. But you know what? This thing ain't nothing new. So the scripture already told you niggas, niggas gonna come in crep in unawares and and do certain things and robbing his wolves and basically the doctrine they didn't continue in the doctrine that was taught to them and things of that nature. So what we do? We go right here. Because it made us hard, we already read it. We already, it already, um, calcif already, not calcified, but it actually made us, it, it calcified our, our feelings toward the things that was going to happen because what we knew that was going to happen. Why? Because this is it's just written for our learning, you know? So the world could think they could come and come video us and we're going to put it on a social media, so what? <laughs> well, so what, you know? The time is now that we know it's going to end. Even if we, even if we, we didn't know, even if we didn't have the the inclination that this thing was going to happen, it was going to happen. It was this thing was going to happen regardless, with with or without us. The Lord Yahweh Shimon Shai has made us men. First of all, you got to stand yourself as a man, and a man endures a lot of things, man. And a man of Yahweh Shimon Shai, he gonna he gonna withstand this wiles of the devil. You know, a righteous man does fall the seven times, but he get his ass back up, clean himself off. Hey, you got more? Against uh, principalities. Uh, another word for principalities is the uh, state or rule of a prince or uh, a okay. ruler. And against powers, and against there, the it means rulers. A, it means a host of demons in that scripture. Okay. It's a host of demons. God, because I, I just looked up the word. Okay. Uh, and against powers, against the rulers, of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wow, spiritual wickedness in high places. So they sending out every day. They sending out trying to trying to blame us for something that they put in front of us. You know, so talking about this, this so called white man, they sending spells. They trying to they trying to uh, block our spiritual blessing. They like look at your people when they the ones who assisting in uh, making us uh, go off. You know, and that's a, that's that's the wickedness of this damn devil. He throw rocks and hide his hand. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead, bro. Can I, um, did that uh, Second Timothy chapter two? Yeah, we can't that. Okay, um, you want to start at one? Mm -hmm. Two and three. Go ahead, come. Okay, this is Second Timothy's uh, chapter two and verse one. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach Yahushai. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. You, go, you gotta go through the furnace to earn this, man. You gotta go through hell. It's, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, you know. You might keep. You, you, you know, you, you, you got to make sure that you're on line with the, the word of Yahweh you Shah. Know, you know, because it, 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 it's still a yoke. But he said his burden is light. You know, it's, it, it's, this thing is hard, but it's not, it's, it's, it's a glorious reward. You know, but still, we still got times where, you know, brothers see each other. We happy to see each other. We got the little, the little spurts. But still, it's, it's still not even as heavy as it's going to be. Still got martial law. Still got the spiritual, that spiritual uh, uh, apparitions don't come in. You know, things of that nature. But the time is coming because persecution going to have to come. They're going to have to come. They're going to be pointing at them, them Israelites. You're going to have people turning against them. But those are written in the scriptures. You're going to have to endure. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, First Sam Samuel 17. In eight for, for he said, for he said, hosh, 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 hosh,
who who shall thou knowest thy father and his men that they be mighty men and they are and they be chased in their mind as as a bear robbed of his wealth in in the field and thy father is a man of war and and will not lodge with the people so that's showing the mindset mentality Ben had in the ancient world they were hard men they weren't ass these pussy pussy boys out here man they were hard men of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And, and, that's, and that's a mindset we have to be in. We have to be in the mindset of that King David's men were in, that King David was. Hard men, men chafe in the spirit in the men. Chafe men, vex, vex in the spirit, being uh, oppressed by this devil and actually feeling some type of way about him, huh? And that's how, that's how you're supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel vex and ups, upset about what the situation we're in under this devil, man. And you're supposed to have a men, men of a war or spiritual of a spiritual warlike mindset to be able to endure the things which are about to come upon the earth. Because the King David's men, they were catching hell. They were going through all types of peril of perils, but they had that mentality to endure all that through the spirit. Oh kind, yeah, we have to endure and we have to fight. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto them also that love his appearing. So, Kyle, we have to fight those the elect men are going to fight, okay? And they're going to fight to the end, and guess what? There's made up for them a crown of righteousness, okay? And even the um, prophet Esther saw that done, if you read uh, Esther chapter 2 and uh, start at verse 42 and read on down. And also, crowns are what? For kings. God. They're not for, you know, low-level people, you know, common people. And how is the king of kings? And... 144,000, they're going to be receiving not only the crowns, they're also going to be receiving the, uh, the white robes. Now, everybody does get to partake, you know, in the kingdom, so everybody is going to be in the kingdom, but everybody's not going to be on the same status, on the same status, you know, there's going to be a, a hierarchy in the kingdom. Everybody is not going to have that, that shame. Some people are not going to wake up Want to wake up to everlasting life. Huh. Okay, I got a scripture right here. This is uh, James 1 and 12. It says, Blessed is to the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Hmm. So, say, say, look, if we to endure temptation, go, man, look. This temptation every day on, on this earth. On, 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 every day as you make a move, man, you wake up, it's something, it's a thought. You know, it's things you could do, but you you avoid all that shit because the most high, you know, about Shema Shah put that spirit in you, man, to fight and endure, man. And that's a that's a beautiful spirit, man. And get to, to receive that crown of life, man, to avoid uh, to, to avoid what you could through the spirit, to, through the best of your ability, and Yahweh Bashim Shah making you endure. He'll have you endure and, and, and for a righteous sake, for righteous sake, you know, you, you gotta, you know, to compass this, to, to compass the wickedness of this world, compass it, man, fight, endure, you know. Because Yahweh Bashim Shah has a, has, a, uh, has a beautiful reward for you. Anybody got something else? So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechav, Kadash. Double honor to the Apostle and Elders of Great Minister. Peace, salutation, to the brother who works to say the truth. Shalom. Shalom. Hang on.